Christmas and welcome to another edition of Soulful East with Lisa J. Today is Christmas. Merry Christmas. And as you can see, I have my antler ears and I have my beautiful sister Veronica here today from LA celebrating with me today. So we hope everybody's having a beautiful Christmas. So we are going to get started. Most of my dinner is already done as you can see behind me. But we're going to do something different. So we're going to put a take on our prime rib. That's going to be the star of the show today. Our prime rib. So as you can see, I have a prime rib roast here. That I, as I always do, wash the meat off. Wash it off. Patted it dry. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little paring knife and make slits in it. And it makes some slits in it like this. And you ask, why are you putting them slits in there? Because we're going to put some garlic cloves down in here. Okay. So I have four garlic cloves here, okay? I'm going to cut them in half. Like that. You're going to take one and stick it down inside the meat like this. I'm going to stick it as far as you can stick it. Okay? Another slit here. Put your garlic down in there. That one I didn't cut good enough, so we're going to have to redo it. Put your garlic cloak down in there. Put it as far as you can put it. Okay? And then you're going to do all the way around the meat. So hang tight. I'm going to show you what this looks like, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to put the marinade that goes on top of this, so just stay tuned. Okay, so we are back. So I have a rub that I made here with two tablespoons of olive oil. You have a half teaspoon of rosemary, thyme. I put some garlic powder, which I put another half teaspoon of garlic powder and a half teaspoon of onion powder. You're going to make... Like, like a little paste like you're gonna take your paste and you're gonna rub it all over your meat so i'm gonna take my spoon did you put olive oil in there uh-huh okay. i did put my olive oil in there i'm gonna take this and we're gonna rub it all over our meat and in the meantime and in between time yes i did wash my hands i'm gonna rub this all over the meat because if you don't your meat meat gonna burn I have my oven preheated to 450 degrees and you say wow that is very high no it's a big piece of meat so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off high and then you're gonna make it low rub this all over because this is gonna make a crust so question mm -hmm. once you cook it on high how much longer then do you need to cook it? Then it needs to cook another two and a half hours on 325 until your internal temperature reaches maybe like about three, like 300, 325 inside. Depends on how rare you like your meat or how done you like your meat. Because if you want it more done, then you're going to have to let it cook a little bit longer. But most people like medium well, so we're going to do it for about two and a half hours. If it's not right, then we'll let it cook another half an hour so it'll be done on the inside. So stay tuned. All right, we're back. So, got my oven all preheated. As you can see, the rest of my dinner is done. We have some collard greens with our smoked turkey meat in there we have some brown sugar ham macaroni and cheese 
sweet potato pie and some sweet potato casserole with marshmallows on top. So this is going to be the last little thing we're going to eat. We're going to put this and this is going to be the creme de la creme to the dinner. Probably make some mashed potatoes, a few mashed potatoes to go with it. So now we're going to pop this in the oven. The oven is nice and hot. You do not want to cover this. We're going to put this in there. Okay, like that. And we are going to set our timer for 15 minutes. We're going to let it cook at 450 for 15 minutes. So we got cook time. I'll give it five more minutes, 20 minutes. And we're going to come back and I'm going to show you what that looks like in 20 minutes, okay? Hang tight. Okay, so we're back. So after 20 minutes at a very high temperature of 450, that's what our meat looks like. Now the outside is seared, but the inside is not. So now we're going to turn it down and we're going to allow this to cook for about another two hours and 45 minutes or 325. Okay, so this is what our roast looks like after it's been cook cooking in the pan for about 20 minutes on high. So you want it to sear outside. And now we're going to do low and slow, 325 for about two hours and 45 minutes. That's for a medium prime rib. If you want it more done, you might want to take it up to three hours. So if it's not the way I like it at two hours and 45 minutes, I'm going to give it another 15 minutes. So this is what it looks like. So now we're going to push this back in the oven. I lowered my temperature to 325. We're going to set it and forget it. And we're going to come back. And then we're going to see what our golden brown, delicious prime rib roast looks like in two hours and 45 minutes. So hang tight. Okay, so one little caveat that I forgot to tell you about. So when you turn this down to 325, you also want to put a piece of foil over the top. That's going to keep it juicy so it doesn't get dry. And I'm also at this point going to put a little bit of sea salt on top of my roast. So I have it here. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little sea salt on top. your foil over the top kind of loose push it back in the oven 325 we're gonna set our cook time two hours 45 minutes actually i'm just gonna say an even three hours cook time and we'll see you back here in a couple hours we'll look at this roast and we'll get back to you Taste testing. Mmm. Superb. Mm. You must try. Delicious. It is. It's done. It's done. It's done. Okay, so we are back. This is how our standing prime rib roast looks. 
and it's about medium don't want medium rare if you want medium rare then you might want to take it out if you want it well done it's probably going to be a lot more time that you're going to have to take to cook it and it's not going to be as flavorful and as juicy so this is how we're going to eat ours tonight we have some mashed potatoes some au jus to dip our meat in this is our christmas dinner Okay, so our meal is all finished here, and we have our prime rib roast, mac and cheese, brown sugar ham. We have our collard green, mashed potatoes, sweet potato pie, and our collard greens back here, and our au jus. So I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, have a safe and happy new year, and from my house to yours, have a beautiful Christmas and holiday season. Thanks for watching. Keep up the views. It's going crazy. Love you all. Have a great holiday. Thank you. Bye-bye.